Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I'm here with the second part of the Clash of Clones update for the Simpsons Tapped Out. And, um, okay, so last part for part one, I was super confused, and to be honest, I'm still really, really confused. Um, I think it would have helped if I played, you know, Clash of Clans or whatever, um, more, and someone destroyed my castle. Thanks a lot. So. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. I don't even know. An invader, so. Um, see, this is one of the parts I don't really get all that much. Like, is this one of my friends' towns or what? That's the, that's the main thing I don't understand. Like, is this a random person? Um, if some of you guys could let me know, that would be great because... Um, it's, it just says an invader, it's not like I'm in one of my friend's towns, so is it taking me to any random account in the entire world, or, um, you know, anything like that? So, I mean, I guess that would be kind of cool, because, you know, that would mean that a lot of you guys would have the chance to come and mess up my town and stuff, and, you know, whatever. Um, so that would be pretty cool. But that's just one of the things I don't understand, like, it says an invader, so I'm not really sure who that is, or if it's a random town, or... A town that doesn't even exist, or, you know, I'm not really sure. Um, characters, I guess there was just those characters, I guess, you know. Um, the Clash of Clones character category, I don't really... Uh, I don't really know. I thought that there would, there would be some of those nerd characters, I guess not. Um... Yeah, I guess that there's no that you don't get any of those nerds as characters. A lot of the spoilers kind of suggested that you do. Maybe it's towards the end of the event or something, you know, I'm not really sure. But uh, I already started my castles, I guess, you know, however I guess, uh, you know, whatever I could do so far. So basically, over here I'm going to put the recycled castle and stuff. And then there's going to be the barbarian castle and then the... Uh, Boxingham Palace castle over here, so I'm gonna be separating them out But the problem is is that I can't get any more until I upgrade my castle so you know you have to Upgrade your castle first then you have to collect the uh, elixir so I'm all out of elixir basically um, So I can't upgrade my castles anymore. I upgraded the characters as far as they could go to level 10 and whatnot but um other than that, you know, oh, okay, so we so we can earn some elixir from doing tasks. I guess I'll have to uh, send some of these guys on their tasks and whatnot. But um, as for elixir, I'm not really sure how this works. I I personally don't like this update, but um, you know, a lot of you guys who play Clash of Clans and stuff must must really enjoy the update. You know, I'm not saying that they did bad job. They definitely went through a lot of trouble doing all this stuff. It's just not the sort of stuff that I'm into. So, um, I'm very confused here. Um, you know, one character for a huge event doesn't really seem all that great. You know, one character for a whole event. That's, uh, you know, they could have done a little bit better on that. But, um, so upgrading castles seems a little annoying for me. Um, you know, you gotta keep upgrading your castle with this goo or elixir. Sorry, I keep calling it goo. Um, stuff. And, um, just the way you collect everything is kind of confusing. I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing after the event, if these castles are going to stay, or if they're going to earn stuff, or what. You know, I'm just, most updates is kind of clear on what each thing is. This is just a very confusing, um, basis. I'm not complaining about the quality of the update at all, so don't think that I'm, you know, saying that it's terrible or anything like that. Um, I definitely do like this update a lot. But, um, not as much as, you know, I kind of hoped. But, um, you know, there there was a lot better ways that they could have done this. Um, so this update doesn't really get, you know, you know, I'd say two, two stars out of five. You know, but that's just me, so, you know, whatever you guys think. So, you know, this isn't a review, I'm just mostly talking about what the update is, you know. There's not really much to show. The, ca the way that... the Characters were earned the uh, costumes was very confusing too. I read through all the dialogue and I went through all of it I still don't really even understand how you know it put these uh, gems or 
20 chances or cheaters or whatever they're called in my inventory, but I don't really know what you do with them. So, oh, alright, so, okay, something weird just happened. I think that I heard a house sound or something. I think it repaired one of my houses that someone destroyed or something. I, I, I don't even know. Um, but it might, might take me a while to get a buildings and decorations video out for this since, you know, it's basically impossible to complete the update in one day, you know, and you can't buy any of the goo, or, uh, elixir, my bad. You can't buy any of it, so, unless I keep going around to these, uh, random towns or whatever, you know, it's gonna take me a while to get all this stuff. Um, see, I don't even know whose town this is. I don't really know why I can't even interact with anything, so, you know, usually you'd be able to interact with the houses and do whatever you wanted to them or blow them up or whatever it is, but... Um, I, I just don't know, so, um, until I get back to you guys, I'll probably upload a video sometime later, later, and, um, you know, actually explain what most of this is, because, you know, you guys have got to be as confused as I am, right? Because this is a crazy, crazy concept that I'm trying to understand, you know, this is nothing like I've ever dealt with with Tapped Out, this is a very odd update, um, but like I said, it's not bad, it's just different, and, um, you know, it's not for me, you know, they should have... Um, you know, I had a better idea, you know, it's too mixed in with the tap out. They should have taken, um, they should have opened up the other side of this mountain and put, like, a new kind of map over there. You know, you get over there through a tunnel or something that you click, and, uh, you can build, you know, your Clash of Clans stuff over there, um, and kind of make it what Clash of Clans is. But this is kind of confusing, and until I fix, uh... You know, until I you know, can understand what most of it is and understand it a lot more. I don't know how much I could really talk about it. But, um, I guess this is it. This is the update. If I was going to showcase it, you know, you see all the stuff. Here's the splash screen, app icon, you know, basically a quick run through. Um, the quests were kind of confusing. I'm not really sure if they went in any specific order or if they had any order at all. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see where it goes. Seems like I'm under attack for some weird reason. I don't even know. Um, I use this thing, use cheater, cheaters 20, you know, very confusing, but, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's an alright update, not for me, but, you know, a lot of people are probably enjoying it, so, um, I guess that's it, thanks for watching and subscribe, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and, uh, like I said, if I can figure out anything else, or I can, you know, fix anything, or, you know, complete my town with these castles or whatever, then I will be back. As for now, there's not really much I can do, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and subscribe, and keep on tapping. Peace out, and enjoy the update.